The odds are not in Carolina's favor, but in a town like New Orleans, odds don't matter. WFMY News 2's Kevin Kennedy went back to that tarot card reader who successfully predicted UNC's upset over Duke. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Chad, I'll tell you, when we first rolled into town, like you said, instead of going to our hotel room, we went to visit a tarot card reader. We are in New Orleans, by the way. We wanted to find out a little bit of insight in regards to North Carolina Duke. Well, not only did she provide some insight, she actually predicted the winner of that game, North Carolina. It was also the specificity that was so amazing. It had us in awe. And while I'm not going to stand here right now and tell you that I am a full-fledged believer, I will tell you the cards, at least on that night, didn't lie. So it seemed appropriate we'd go back and ask her, does she have any feeling when it comes to Kansas and North Carolina tonight? If they didn't believe in it at first, I'm guessing Tar Heel fans may now. She's gonna turn over that heart, that card with hearts on it, three daggers through Kansas. Before Saturday's matchup against Duke, Greta Mullen saw heartbreak for the Devils and joy for the Heels. Oh, this side is definitely the winner. This side's the winner for sure. The outcome written in the cards. How's this for specifics? The last card for Duke, a heart with three swords through it. Could that be the dagger three that Caleb Love hit? It was clear as day. There was nothing there um, that was not definitive. Greta correctly predicting the outcome. Am I thinking these things? Is this really part of my experience? Am I crazy? So what will tonight bring? More joy or agony? Greta already knows. This is the winner. Just like that. A vision UNC fans will again be thrilled to hear. Over here, Ten of Swords, this is all about, wow, well, he's dead, okay? okay. You know, so okay. this is this is about failure. How's that sound, Tar Heels? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. We're going to win tonight. Greta certainly thinks so. Bit of a mind blow when actually, guys, it really was a little bit mind blowing to actually hear her predict North Carolina and, the, and see exactly kind of what transpired certainly as we talked about north carolina fans hope she's right again we will find out later tonight we're live in new orleans i'm kevin kennedy wfmy news 2.